the British are coming, the British are coming. No, this is not countryside in Massachusetts. This is serene coast and the British are coming. This is the new Senlac Tier 8 light tank from the British Tech Tree coming to you today. And uh, I'm going to be comparing it with the Tech Tree counterpart, of course, the LHMTV and the GSOR. But maybe it's kind of useless because I know nobody played, none of you played the LHMTV and the GSOR. First, what I want you to do, so new here, please give me a subscribe and a turn on your notifications on if you are here, especially for the mod pack uh, videos. It'll drop and you will get a notification. Please give me a like if you found this uh, video. Uh, useful, uh, informative, and I thank you very much for it. Now, as I was saying, I'll compare this to the LHMTV and the GSOR, of course, you have to because it's British, but I know none of you have played the LHMTV and the GSOR, much less the GSOR. So I'll compare it with other familiar tanks like the LT432, the T92, and the M4190 black bulldog okay first of all let's talk a little bit about the gun 2375 dpm a lot better than the 1600 on the lh mtv even better than also better than the gsor tier 9 which is 1800 dpm why because you are reloading four and a half seconds four and a half seconds reload on this tank it does 189 penetration and 180 damage on the standard shells which is uh, very similar to the lt 432 180 damage um, that's the good thing about this gun. It shoots like an LT-432. Uh, it reloads as quick as an LT-432, which means you have the option of removing that rammer and using vents instead. Yes, you can use vents instead. Of course, uh, when you remove the rammer, you are losing about half a second of reload time. But when you put vents in, you are going to gain another to uh, you know 0.25 seconds or something like that so in essence you are only going to lose about 0.30 uh, reload time if you replace your vents with your rammer why you want to replace your vents with your rammer well you're reloading four and a half seconds what's the big deal for another 0.25 seconds right it's not going to make much of a difference but you are going to get your view range up to uh, maximum maybe around 491 view range and your camo rating will go up uh, 1% or 2% which gives you a maximum of around 30% 32% uh, view range um, sorry camo values uh, what I wanted to say to you is your view range and your camo rating is almost exactly like a black bulldog or a HWK 30 um, that's what you can compare it to uh, the view range and the camo rating a lot like a HWK-30 or a Black Bulldog. The gun, it shoots almost ex almost identical to an LT-432. Um, it has a kind of high velocity, shell velocity, 1020. Uh, of course, not, not as fast as an LT-432, which is 1150, but it's fast enough, it's accurate enough. Uh, you're going to see me in this game um, fire off 13 shells or whatever I connect nine of them and nine of them pen look at that that was a pixel shot he was showing me very little of his tank but I managed to to snipe him and not only just snipe him penetrate him as well that was with my standard AP shells now as usual I'm gonna be shooting a lot of AP shells when I'm um, same tier matchmaking tier 8 matchmaking I don't really need to use um, premium shells I can shoot AP shells uh, standard uh, standard AP shells and they will do just fine uh, but if I did need to shoot uh, premium shells premium shells are going to give me 223 millimeters of penetration that's pretty good but it's not like fantastic when you're up against tier 9s and tier 10s so if you do need if, if you do come up against tier 9s and tier 10s um, don't be shy to be you know shooting premium shells it's okay you're gonna get you're not going to pen them all anyway, so you might as well use them. Now, this game has been quite good to me, I guess. Um, it's not like the bestest of games, but I'm racking up some damage. 2000 plus spotting, which is uh, really useful uh, for me. Um, again, 
what I wanted to say to you is uh, if you are familiar with the British light tanks, uh, the LHMTV or the Tier 9 GSOR, and you think that jumping into a SEMLAC is going to be pretty similar like playing with the LHMTV or the GSOR, you are going to be surprised. You are going to be wrong. It is completely different from a LHMTV or GSOR. And uh, because one of the reasons is because of the gun. I'm dead here, but uh, I did enough um, 2000 plus uh, spotting, 1000 plus damage. It's going to be enough for me. As I was saying, this is completely different tank to the LHMTV or the GSOR. One, because the gun reloads a lot quicker than the LHMTV or the GSOR. Of course, those two tanks are reloading at around 8.2 8 seconds, 8.2 8 seconds. The GSOR about 7.85 7 seconds. The LHMTV 8.27 seconds. Uh, as you can see here, 13 shots, 9 9 connect and 9 penetrate. That's what's good about the Senlac. Uh, the next game I am in uh, El Halouf. Uh, I am going to play it as aggressive as I can. This is a tier 9. I am bottom tier. Uh, there is a WZ-132 going down the valley with me. So what I want to do is rush down there and see if I can get up there and help them out. Now, like I was saying, why is this tank completely different from the Tech 3 LHMTV and GSOR number one the uh, the camouflage values are completely trash compared to the LHMTV and GSOR of course LHMTV you can push the camouflage values to the maximum of around 42 percent camouflage values that is amazing uh, second only to the ELC even 90 which is pushing around 50 percent camouflage values if you max it out so LHMTV is amazing camo tank but the reload time really sucks uh, the Senlac the Senlac Reload time is really good for plus seconds, but camouflage values only about 30%, 31%, 32% tops max. This is with everything on, and that's that's the max value you're gonna get out of this tank. A GSOR, the tier nine, uh, the tier nine big brother of the LHMTV, also pushing out about 38%, 40% camouflage values. Of course, 32% is really good in terms of, you know, if you compare it with other tanks, but in terms of light tanks, uh, performance, um, 32% is no big deal. Even the LT432 has got about 40% um, camouflage values, which is really good. The camouflage values on this tank is like a HWK30 and a black dog. It, you play it like it's a big fat tank, big fat light tank, basically. 32% isn't very good. You get spotted out all the time. Every time you shoot, you get spotted out. Uh, well, maybe not against the Progetto. Or, he did spot me out, actually, if you saw that. So you need to be careful about your spotting mechanics. Um, you can't play it like a 100% uh, like, uh, like a, you know, like a ninja light tank. This is not a ninja light tank. Um, Yes, the ninja works like, sorry, uh, the, the camo works like a light tank. 32% is pretty good camouflage values, but not not the kind of values that you'd expect from a light tank. You know, it's not an ELC even 90. It is not one of those French tanks with 35-38% uh, camouflage values. 30-31% is very low for a light tank. So this tank, um, the good thing is... Um, to compensate for the poor camouflage values is it's got really good uh, view range uh, one of the highest uh, one of the highest uh, view ranges uh, in the tier in the tier 8 realm tier 8 uh, premium tank realm 491 I think you can push it out around that maximum uh, if you're running um, binocular telescope it's a different story of course I'm talking just about BIA crews optics food vents uh, 491 492 is pretty good for a light tank at tier 8 uh, in fact it is exactly the same view range as a HWK that is uh, maxed out or a black dog that is maxed out very good view range but poor camo values so as you can see here, although I'm spotting these guys, I still want some hard cover. Um, 
just in case I get spotted. You know, if this, if these TDs were stationary and they have their binocular telescopes on, they would have spotted me out. But fortunately for me, they don't spot me out. I gain a bunch of um, um, damage here. I'm trying to maximize my spotting. Uh, my spotting performance here, easy for me to spot out at T50, but I, I ran away uh, from... You saw me wanting to go down there and try to fight them, um, try to be aggressive in this tank. But as soon as I saw the T50, I had to run away. There is no way I can take any kind of fun punishment from the T50. The T50 would have just made mincemeat out of me. I could not contest that position in this tank, which is why I ran away and tried to make use of my view range and my fairly quick loading uh, good gun. Uh, in this tank, I am actually running the vertical stabilizers. Uh, I am running also the vents. Uh, what is the other equipment? Optics, yes. So I have removed the um, um, gun rammer and replaced it with the uh, uh, vents. So I lose like 0 0.30 second of aim time, one third of a second um, reload time. I think that's pretty fair. Uh, I increase my view range by 10, 11 meters, and I arrange my, uh, I increase my camouflage values by one and a half, two percent. So I am happy about that. I'm willing to to take that trade off because this tank reloads so quickly. I felt that uh, it would be better if I take advantage of you know some extra view range and um, extra camouflage value that I need very much in this tank because it's very poor to begin with so I am uh, trying to play it safe right now I don't want to approach that T30 he could possibly one shot me with a HE or set me on fire or something like that so I just want to be really careful this is of course my first I think this is my possibly my fourth or fifth game in this tank i've only played like five games in this tank so far so this is my reaction uh, my my initial reaction i will make up some make some follow-up videos after i've played this tank uh, maybe 15 20 times and uh, get a handle on this tank and see if i can perform very well but so far i'm telling you i can what i can report back to you guys is this tank is definitely not a rambo um carry tank you know a forward attacking aggressive tank this tank is definitely not that kind of tank this tank is a sneaky sniper using your view range whatever camo that you have if you are approaching your enemies with some teammates with some support then you are going to be useful you can make use of that dpm when your enemies are busy looking at someone else you can use your dpm to to um you know maneuver around behind and shoot your enemies now this tank is quite decent um decent when it comes to speed uh, it's 65 kilometers an hour going forward but you can see the reverse speed is horrible you can't run away it's really scary to run away reverse speed is terrible also it turns like a freaking bus so uh if you want to circle your enemies it's very difficult to do that do not engage close rangers do not try to circle anyone even heavy tanks you're going to have a problem with it because it's it turns like a bus it's really terrible but anyway my al haluf uh, results um, again maybe a second class uh, not utterly fantastic but 2000 plus damage a little bit of spotting i'll take it um, and that's my first impressions and reaction video on this tank uh, if you enjoy a challenge this might be the tank for you but don't expect it to play like the LHMTV. don't expect it to play like the gsor the gun is like an lt432 the camo and the view range is like a hwk or m41 bulldog that's my video for today thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye